I'm in great voice, don't you? No. Oh, yeah. It's really important to be in really good voice. Isn't it? Okay. Shay, uh, uh, yes, I do. I will do. Hi, friends. I'm just getting all everything set up here. So tell us if you can hear us okay. If it's too loud, let me know. Not loud enough, let me know. I'll tell you to check your hearing. Uh, but uh, let, let us know if you can see us and hear us all right. So we did a sound check earlier, getting ready for this awesome show tonight. And then Dan's around here somewhere. Don't know where I lost him in here in the midst of all. Oh, hi, Dan. Oh, oh, it did? Oh, okay, sure enough. Well, there you go. Okay, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. All right. Cool. Oh, hi, Flavio. Thanks for watching in Brazil. Brazil. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That's great. Okay, I feel pretty good, right? Do you feel like you've warmed up enough? I mean, do you need anything else for warming up? You need a little bed, yo. <laughs> One more. Me, 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 me. All right. Okay. That's good. That's good. All right. Yeah. Can you hear out there? Those of you watching, are you hearing okay? Everything sounding okay? Mm. I'm gonna turn off my lounge music now because it's not time to lounge. It's time to party. Mm. Okay. Oh, Dan. Hi, Dan. Hey, You're back there. You need a microphone. I got my mic. Okay. I got my mic. He's got his mic. Come we're on. Right. We're ready to go. I think we're ready to go. Oh. Ooh, why not? Why not? I know. Right. I put you back in the little lawyer's chair next to the little producer back Are you kidding? there. kidding? Yes. This is great. I'm loving this. I know. We have so many people on tonight. This is great. But oh, we should cool. probably like do an opener or something. Should we you play me in? Yeah. Okay. Right, you got yeah. it. Live from Studio One in the Steel Cow Building, located in the heart of historic Wakefield Village, the home of Johnny Cakes and Brickley's Ice Cream. This is The Eden Show, a Greenhouse Entertainment Group production. And I'm in studio here with Eden <laughs> and three wild and crazy gals, Ruby May, Agnes Malone, and the fabulous Penelope producer in the back. They're here to play Sounds Like a Song for the entire show with our Commander-in-Chief, the star, Eden Castile. Eden Castile. I'm a voice coach in Wakefield, Rhode Island, but I'm also wherever you want to be. Oh, Dan, this is so much fun. We have I'm, a crowded little room today. I love it when it's crowded. Isn't I gotta it tell great? you, yes. A whole yes. new ambiance. It's wonderful. Yes, it shows that it's I haven't wonderful. vacuumed. It's great. <laughs> so, you know, tonight is a really special night because we haven't had this many people in the room since what? Pre COVID. Since pre COVID. Since you've been in the big room with. Yeah. Um, Oh, with the Carol lady from O'Shaughnessy? Carol O'Shaughnessy. Yes, yes. wants to come back. We'll get oh, her well, back. Oh, I can't wait to have Carol come well, back. Well, you know, we loved Carol because she's Carol number one, but also because she's a wonderful cabaret singer. Cabaret singers are so wonderful, aren't they? They are, and I got to say, Carol comes in, hunched over, two canes, barely walks. You turn on the lights and start the show. Mm -hmm. She's up there hopping around with everybody. It's she was so great. We love some Carol O'Shaughnessy, right? Cabaret yeah. keeps you young, ladies. Cabaret oh, keeps you young. Sure yes. does. In that case, yes. these two are toddlers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, so you're welcome. You're Ooh. welcome. You know, music and Botox. It's a great combo. Mm. So tonight, we do have two very special guests in the audience, right? Here over here, to uh, not in the audience, over oh. here in my room. I'm yes, sorry, you do. Room. And they're going to be doing some cabaret for you, cabaret like you've never heard it before. Ooh, let's go. Should we go? Yeah. All right. Too too late to start. Let's go. Ruby and oh. Agnes, I'm delighted that you are here. Oh. We're not even doing like history or anything or nope. trivia tonight because it's all bad trivia on April 5th. Okay, it's like Kurt Cobain dying, it's Howard Hughes dying, it's Drake releasing a song. I mean, there's nothing good about April it's, 5th. It's the first night of Passover. But okay, now, that's good. Now there's something good about April 5th. Now there's something good because Ruby and Agnes are my guests. I'm so excited. I was so thrilled. I got to see you perform at the Contemporary Theater Company yeah. recently. Yes. So impressed. I just said, please, please, would you come and do my show? And I can't believe that you had the time. Thank you so much well, for making the time. I, we couldn't not stay a little bit longer in this beautiful state this time of year. So cold and wet. Yes, I, we just love the damp. But we have gone to Brickley's Ice Cream every mm. day since they've opened. Oh, yes. What a lovely treat. Oh. 
Yes. Right on the vocal cords. Mm -hmm. it, right. There's nothing better for the vocal folds than dairy, mm -hmm. I say. It's so important. So, would you like to give them a taste of some of the things that you do? I know that you've been in many, many shows. You've done many shows. I know how hard it is to put together a show. And you have so much experience between the two of you. We do. Maybe we should maybe we should talk a little bit about uh, the, some of the shows that we've been in yeah, together. Yeah, you can totally do it. Put it right up here. We can oh, hear sure. You. Sorry. I, I'm not right. used to these We're microphones. used to the stage <laughs> where they put a little tiny mic right on your head and you just sing as loud as you want. And but true, these are so true. nice and bright. Wow, yeah, I love like an orange. Ice cream oh, They're yes, I bright. love ice cream. <laughs> sweet so that you can swing, sing sweet notes. That's right. <laughs> So, like we said, we've been in many shows mm -hmm. together, um, such as Penelope here is is here to remind us of all of the songs and the musicals and the beautiful shows that we've been in together uh, throughout all these all of decades. Our so, yes. Penelope, what have they done since they're going to need a little jogging of the memory? Mm -hmm. Yes, well, of course, there's My God, There's Two of Them. Oh, oh my, my God, God, There's Two, two of Them! Oh, that that goes great. about so oh, it does indeed. So we were cast as twins in this show. It was much like the parent trap in a way. Yes, but we were adults. That's right. We were adults and we trying to get our older parents back together. Yes. And they were in two separate nursing homes. That's right. And uh, one of our favorite tunes from that show. Oh. What was that, Penelope? Unchained Harmony. Unchained, Unchained <laughs> Harmony. <laughs> well, what can I say? Your face looks just like mine well what can I do but think of all the tricks that we might play You know, I had really extensive prosthetics for that show. That's right, because my face was the one they chose to match. Yes, because who wouldn't want to have two of this on stage singing as loud as they could? That's like the boys from Syracuse, that well-known Rogers and Hart musical that had twins, twin boys mm, in it, right? Yes. So that's just kind of like the female update of that. That's right. right? We were, we did female updates of a lot of different yes. shows. Oh, yeah. really? Mm -hmm. Like the Newsies? That's right. Oh, was yours like the pamphlets? 
Yes, and mm -hmm. we would pass out information about suffrage, uh, the, the suffragettes. suffragettes. Yes. And what was uh, the big number from that one? She left too soon. Oh, of course. Right. Take my hand. Take my hand. Take, Take my, my hand. hand. Take my hand. Although it was really a newsy song, we should pitch it rather high. Soprano voice of the two of us. Yeah. Well, I mean, when I think of Newsies, I think about Laurenti's leaving the body mm. and kind of just like, you know, it's ah! spiritual, but, yeah. really. Spiritual, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it's important. It makes so. you feel so many things in your your heart and your ears. And your lower torso. Yes. This is true. Mm. So tell the good people watching how you met your friends. You've been friends for a long time. Uh, and I know you've talked about that a little bit in some of your act and things. Yeah, so, well, <laughs> for me, it's a little embarrassing. You see, one day uh, after a show, and when, when I was still just a chorus girl, you know, it was really hard in those days. You would have to, to try to be in any show you could and just scraping by. And yeah. sometimes behind the stage door, they'd leave things in the trash. And so I was going through the garbage to try and find something to eat. And, and Agnes comes up to me and says, girl... What are you doing? <laughs> and she gave me a loaf of bread. That's right. That's... I was a baker on set at the time, and I handed her that loaf of bread, and I knew in that moment that that loaf of bread represented my entire heart and my body, mm. much in the way of Jesus Christ, who will be giving his body to us on Sunday, this Easter. Mm. We love Easter. We do. Doctrinally, I think you're almost there. Um, so, uh, on Easter, you, you, that's a special holiday for the two of you? It is. It, well, it reminds us of that time, that moment mm -hmm. yes, between the two of us. Mm -hmm. Because Jesus is really about friendship. He is. And love. Yes. Yes. That reminds me of that old hymn. Which one? That old hymn. That old hymn. Oh. As the world blurs. As the world blurs. As the world blurs. Oh. the world blurs we love you more as the world blurs we understand what you're for as the world blurs we love you more as the world blurs we know what you're for Take each other hand in hand. I can't take your hand, but I can give you my elbow. Thank you. Yes. As the world blurs, we do what we can to meet each other where they are. That's where they get mine. Happy Easter.
Easter, friends. Oh, that was lovely. Happy Passover, you, you, but without yeah. the Jesus. So happy, happy, happy. Mm -hmm. That's a, is this, Easter is a great holiday, isn't yes. it? Any holiday is a lovely we holiday. Love right. holiday. We love to celebrate. That's what kind right. of things do you do? What what is your What's the biggest one you celebrate? Well, we make a loaf of bread. Make a loaf of bread. And, and then I holiday. give it back to her because now I have enough money to buy flour. That's right. A and we've had some lovely different types of breads. My favorite mm. that she's made has been cinnamon raisin with banana chunks. Ooh, yes. Sounds that one was good. really difficult to figure out how to, how to keep the bread light and fluffy without feeling so dense from the bananas. That's and right. to keep and them to chunked. Make Right, and how right. to make the raisins and the bananas indistinguishable. How do you do that? <laughs> it's nearly impossible. It, yes. It's, I, I've, you have to bake the bananas for a very long time beforehand mm -hmm. in tiny chunks. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then you place them into the loaf with the raisins right. and bake it all at the same time. Mm -hmm. Okay. On a very high heat. That sounds right. a little fruitcakey. But better than fruitcake. Yes, it's oh, much, much, much better. better. Okay. Um, it's almost like you've watched me uh, make every loaf. <laughs> well, I have. You have? Um, you we we have a together. very tiny apartment. Yes. Oh, well, yeah. It's so, New York, after all. <laughs> it is New York. Blessed New York. Mm. It's such a great town. So how long have you been living in New York? Oh, well, again. Well, it must have been. Oh, what's it been now? 30, 30, not... When did I have my foot surgery? Well, that must have been in 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 eighty five. That's so, right, because it was after after Patrick left. That's right. So eighty five. So that was what, 17, seventeen years. years no, into, in, mm, was it dog years? In dog okay. years? Oh, I'm dog only four. Years. Oh, okay. I don't know. Uh, it's, it's impossible. It's, it's, it's really hard to, lives, to tell. Really, it's been New a York blur. Has been in our hearts. Yes. Cabaret Since stars don't we need to born. do math. It's really okay. Wait, we we don't just make, need to sing. We just need to sing. It's not like we make any money. Or, or count to four. <laughs> or count to four. As long as you can count to four, you are fine. Oh. This is what I tell all my students. Don't worry about the math, except if you can count to four, you're fine. And sometimes three. And sometimes three. <laughs> this is what about six? True. One, two, three. But just three times two. I, yeah, I suppose. Okay, six we can do. Maybe up to 12. <gasps> you lost me at three. I'm yes. true. I'm sorry. That's all right. I'm so sorry. <laughs> we know you're you, Yes, no. <laughs> if you have questions for That's Ruby or Agnes, <laughs> Ruby or Agnes, you're welcome to drop those in the chat and oh, they may be able to questions. answer a question we for love you should questions. you need that. And also, if there's somebody celebrating a special occasion, like I said, these ladies love holidays. They might be willing to share your, your holiday for your favorite holiday. So let us know if you want to make that a thing and we can do that for you. So you bake bread for the holidays. You're in the small mm -hmm. apartment. Mm -hmm. Patrick left. I'm so sorry to hear that. Oh, don't be. No? No, okay. Patrick. Patrick was a phase and now the phase is over. The mm. phase is over. I remember that show you did with Patrick. Oh. Remember that show you did with Patrick? What was that, well, that show called? That was a called? good time. Raspberry Pie. Oh. Raspberry Pie, we do love our baked goods. Yes. And what was the name of that song that, that Patrick did in that show, oh. Raspberry Pie? Penelope, do you Come on, Penelope. Movie? The biggest one you've ever seen. The biggest one of you've course. ever seen. Of course. I remember. For Patrick, that was hilarious. Yes. It sure was. <laughs> it was such comedy. Mm. Such comedy. The biggest pie you'd ever seen. The biggest pie you've the ever seen. One you'd ever the seen. biggest mm -hmm. one. Tonight I'll be playing the part of Patrick. Go for it. The biggest one you've ever seen comes easily to me. I don't have to think too much about it. In goes sugar, in goes spice and flour just to be nice. The biggest one comes easily. Yes, indeed, to me, because I'm the best baker Philly has ever seen. And in the midnight hour, I've got a secret power. Those raspberries of which I make my pie are the apple of my eye. Ah, 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 the biggest. 
best one you've ever seen. I thought she was going to say something else. Ah, 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 the biggest one you've ever seen was baked from the heart by me. Such a beautiful number. Patrick th- was a very good tenor. I think that ten. I think that Patrick. Yeah, I think he should owe you a debt. I think you really improved on that song. Oh, well, thank you. Yes, because size really doesn't matter. So it really matters what you do with it. And you did wonderful things with that song. Thank you. That was so good. Oh, look, it's Mr. Peter Bucci. How about that? My grandmother used to listen to him every Wednesday while drinking her Jameson. Oh. Thank you so much. And Dan said, yeah, to you, Jameson. Peter's memories. Grandmothers. Yes. Oh, memories. Memories. That's good. Miss Barbara Streisand. I mean, tell oh, me about the famous. She ain't got nothing on me. Yes. Tell me about the famous people you've met and what they've done. And, you know, who, well, who's. Well, generally, it's yeah. pretty dark. Really? The, the lights are off. That's right. Oh. <laughs> Whenever we're meeting the the famous people, you mean? Mm, yes. That's right. So uh, you meet them in the dark, and you can't maybe you can't really tell their who they are. Well, I know they're famous. Okay. We we know that they're there. The yes. presence is there, yes. and we can tell that they know where they're yes. sitting in the audience, uh-huh. watching them on yes. the Broadway stage. Oh yes. yes, that's right. So you meet them while they're doing their thing. That's right. Of I course, see. spiritually, because yes, because we're, we're on connected. stage with them in that moment. Oh, oh mm. yes, yes. That Some of your... Barbara's best moments came from my inspiration. That's right. As I was watching her. Yes, mm-hmm. she really owes you a tremendous debt, does yes. she not? Mm-hmm. Right. What you could have done for Beanie Feldstein. Oh, uh, I mean, yeah. This, what a shame. That was a shame. That was a shame. Uh, but yeah, if you're going to be a funny girl, you clearly need these two girls in the audience or that show doesn't go, right? Couldn't do it. In fact, I, I, I wonder how Leah Michelle is doing without us. I'm sure she uh, has she, plenty of other lovely yeah. mm. actresses and actors in Giving the audience. Giving her that her. energy. Right. Clearly. But of course, that remi- funny girl reminds me of... a. Uh, of the Batty Betty. Batty Betty, one of our... Well, that was your starring moment. Remember when they put you in that whipped cream cake? I certainly do. What was uh, the, the, the song, uh, Penelope? Do you remember from Batty Betty? From Batty Betty? My Betty? Toyota. My, My Toyota, Toyota from Batty oh, Betty. Betty, she was Batty. She drove that Toyota right on the stage. That's right. She was a wild one. Yes. The whole show was was really about uh, Betty's coming of age. Mm. Tale. Of course. Uh, and everyone, nobody quite understood her. No. And she always tried to be different. You were in your prime during that show. That's right. Uh, what was it? My Toyota? Yes. My Toyota. She was always trying to be different as a Toyota. It wasn't, it wasn't what she wanted it to be. Tires, maybe a exhaust pipe. 
thrown in there, I don't know. A yellow grilled a yellow to match. And here I am in my Toyota. I'm gonna drive this Toyota straight off a cliff. From Toyota. And that was the moment she gets in the Toyota, pulls it on stage, and drives it directly into the audience, directly into the orchestra pit. We ruined a Toyota every single night. It was beautiful. It was art. That's right. And then they would give it away as a, a gift to everybody. Cars for kids. Yes, cars for kids. So a 10-year-old would receive the Toyota, and vroom, by the vroom. time they were eligible to drive vroom, by being vroom. 15, 16 years old, the Toyota had been vroom, vroom. Fixed. repaired by the mechanic down in Fifth Avenue. That's right. And they did have to cover the costs vroom, themselves, vroom. but it was still cheaper than purchasing a brand new vroom. Toyota. Because it was a really nice uh, one. That was impressive. I think, impressive. yeah, you know, I mean, if you had a show that you were trying to, like, you know, produce at some really fancy theater, like the Contemporary Theater mm. Company, I mean, you probably need backers, right? We, it's a very, it's, that's, you know, in the biz, I mean, that's what it is, right? You need to have a little bit of money, you got to have some interest, you got to have a little buzz, you That's know. true, and we did buzz. spend, tell me what's happening. A, a lot lovely of time, a lovely oh. amount of time at the mm. Contemporary Theater yes, while we've did. been here on our tour. Of course. And okay. if there was any place that you'd like to give money to this time of year or any time in general, whenever it it's a holiday, the mm -hmm. Contemporary Theater, mm -hmm. donate for Easter. Mm -hmm. If you're, if your Lent um, give up thing, was the theater price? was money, <laughs> oh. then give up your money to the contemporary theater. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or or them or me. Uh, and tomorrow is nope. T tomorrow's it. Thursday. <laughs> Good <laughs> Thursday. Monday Thursday. Mon Monday Thursday. What is that? Monday Thursday always gets me down. Um, yeah, it's uh, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> It's a uh, Maundy Thursday. It's a sad Thursday, mm -hmm. um, right? Not to celebrate. No, no, but there's food. Okay. There's, there's usually a table. There's usually some food. Definitely some bread. Good. And we some like, wine. I love bread. Love bread. Yeah, there's lots wine. of bread. Mm -hmm. And yeah. And it's good to be sad before you celebrate on Sunday. Exactly. There are Otherwise, no peeps how would tomorrow. you? How would you know what to be happy for? Precisely. Precisely. That's. Uh... Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, one of your mother always said to you. My mother always said, "Trust only yourself." That's right. And she was wrong. Ruby, you have an admirer. I do. Mm -hmm. Oh, you! You were in the audience the other night, yes, weren't you? you? Was, I went up to you. Was, I remember you. I saw that. You show. were very tall. You were flirting hardcore with that young man. He's oh, cute though. This next one's for you. Oh, good. Ooh. What's this one called? Well, it's from uh, my breakout role in Who's Gonna Stop Her? <laughs> and and everybody it? tried to stop me. They did. That's right. What's that song called? Huh? Ha! And this was called Ha! 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 All right. Ha! And in Everybody's Gonna Stop Her was about a girl with a big dream, just like me. What you thinking about now? Hum. Hum. What you thinking about? Somehow I know it's me. I know you're thinking of me. Hum. Hum. Are you going somewhere? Can you take me there? Cause I know you want me to go. This whole world is trying to hold me 
back. They're coming all from the corners to attack. But I see in your eyes the sparkle of surprise that you don't know what I'm about to do next. And you love, love, love that you're thinking, huh, huh, what's she going to do? That was for you, hun. That secret was a fancy admirer. secret admirer. Yeah. <laughs> Good thing Patrick left. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty of room for more. Oh, always. Exactly. Exactly. You can't just stick with one guy. Mm. Absolutely not. Right. right. But if you did ever need to break up with the guy, there is a divorce lawyer here who could help you. Oh, right. so, wonderful. Yeah. Yes. Check a... Make sure you get his number. Yeah. 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 You never Keep know. Keep him on retention. Retainer. 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 That's I have part. retention. But he's my personal lawyer at MC. That's his real job, is to be my personal lawyer at MC. But I will let you. He's your him. lawyer? He's my personal lawyer. What have you got MC. going on? What do I have going on with my personal lawyer MC? Oh, I've sung mm. many songs about my personal lawyer MC. What's that song I always sing about you, Dan? What's the title of that song? What's the title of that song I always sing about you? Dan Shaka, Street Lawyer? Yeah. Oh. Jane oh. Shake, a street wanderer? Lawyer. Oh, I street like street lawyer. Street, street, lawyer. Lawyer. Better. Like street lawyer. That's really cool. Street lawyer. Oh, I know how that song goes. I got me a good lawyer from the street. From the street. Whoa, whoa. It's not the usual place you would think your lawyer would meet. Whoa. But he's a tough guy, and he comes from Providence. Providence. Whoa, 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 whoa. And so when you meet your lawyer on the street, well, there it makes sense. Yes, my lawyer, Dan Chaga. I met him on the street on the street whoa, whoa he took care of my taxes and left them really neat oh, yeah. <laughs> whoa. he saves my ass on the regular and that ain't no mean feat yes i met my lawyer dan shaka on the street on the street yeah, it's true. He is street wise. That's right. Don't go out without one. Yeah, exactly right. Have without a ever, street or a lawyer. Have you ever good. thought about writing a musical? <gasps> oh, really? I, I didn't think I could. I believe you could. I, We've written multiple. You can anyone can anyone write a musical. Can write anyone a musical. can write a musical. That's <laughs> that's why Jason Robert Brown exists. So okay. I've seen him in the dark. He's yes, that's a good way to see Jason Robert Brown, especially for Mrs. Brown. So what do um, you suggest we write about if we wrote a musical? Hmm. Well, writing a musical, I what always a, what say a, about oh, writing What do you always musical, say about writing a musical? I'll make sure I get it right. Can't have seven pancakes without six pancakes. It's true. So you have to write six At least bad six ones, songs. Six oh, bad six bad musicals. musicals first. I can do that. And then your seventh will be brilliant. Will be cats. So you get writing. Okay. And we'll be here to sing along. Okay. Maybe come back next week. I might I might learn how to find it. Your sweet admirer, Nate, wrote down something very interesting. You've never experienced life until you've experienced musical life. Oh, he's a smart oh, one. Oh, that was a fun one, that was it not? True. That was See, you you have written some musicals. I have written. I wrote one song and that was it. Uh, but that was but it made it way into a, a lovely musical about aliens. It, yes. yes, and, and Mars. A, and Mars. Yes, I got to have sex with a human. I was an alien who had sex with a human, and that was great fun. Yeah. Wow, it sounds, wow, wonderful. It sounds mm -hmm. amazing. It was. It was faster than I thought it would be. Um, <laughs> but it was really good. Hi, David. Thanks for joining. You came in at just the right time because we have Ruby and Agnes here, and they are cabaret stars. 
here performing many selections from their best known mm -hmm. shows. Also some chestnuts from shows that, you know, some shows open and they close the same night. We've had many those, of those. Yeah. Yes. And like we were saying before, you have to do so many to find the one that really sticks. And mm -hmm. But some of those tiny little lights that... that <laughs> Sorry, I'm distracted. You're just connected by the good, huge but, lighting from yes. Ron Cowie. But sometimes yeah. those lights that burn fast burn your brightest. That's, That's right. right. Yes, and then you're blind. Then you really do see everybody in the dark, which yes. is true. So, friends, if you would like to hear a number from one of their shows, go ahead and drop the name of the song in the chat, and they'll be glad to sing your requests tonight. It can be a song that's never been done by anybody before. Just drop it in the chat. For instance, here is, let's see, okay, Huffing and Puffing. Let's use this last one. Huffing and Puffing. Can we do a song well, about Well, that it? does remind me of one of our favorite musicals. I think, right, what was right. That what was that from? Beth. From Beth, Beth, the musical Beth, Huffing and Puffing. That's right, and uh, the song um, was Huffing and Puffing. Huffing and Puffing right. from the musical Beth. Yes, musical. yes, because Beth was going to be a, a marathon runner. That's right, that's right, and she was in training. Yeah. Run, run, run. All day long Run, run, run Till the day is done Run, run, run As fast as I can Run, run, run Huffing and puffing I can't stand Run, run, run Run, run, run Run, run, run As fast as I can the finish line is close, I can see it. I've been training and training and training these past six months. My heart is puffing and I don't know if I can keep huffing and puffing as my heart beats faster than my breath. And then she caught the lead. Run, 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 run. fast as I can go. My run. muscles straining with all the training that I know. Run, 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 down this cement street And all these people that I can beat Huffing and puffing I run Huffing and puffing till the race is done Puffing and puffing as fast as I could. Was it good for you too? Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank beautiful. You. Oh, here's one from Mr. Bucci. Didn't you guys do a song about a parking ticket? I can't remember the name. Oh. That, what was that show from? The parking I ticket think show. Was, well, it was also from. It, was, did Dan get you out of that? I thought Dan got you out of that. He would get me out of it, but then I wouldn't have a song. So who's the dummy now? Oh, the, the ticket song was from, from Breaking Hearts. Breaking Hearts. <gasps> right, the parking oh, but The meter maid. The meter maid yes. and the driver. Oh, they fell in love. It, it was, was one beautiful, beautiful moment. When they locked eyes on each other. Of course, Patrick was also in that show. And in this in this song, I'll, I'll be playing the role of Patrick, mm -hmm. and it's yeah. called Parking Ticket. Okay, mm -hmm. well, we'll allow this because we're we going to do it we better will. than Patrick ever would have had. It. Yeah, grab your waters, friends. Sound okay? Fine. I know we're, we're doing a lot here tonight, so that's okay. And once again, if you're just joining us, this is Ruby and Agnes, and they are cabaret stars here to perform tonight, different selections from shows they've been in. And if you remember one of their songs and want to write that title in the chat, go right ahead. All right, so this is the parking ticket song from the musical... Breaking Hearts. Breaking Hearts. Breaking Hearts. Okay, parking side. Excuse 
me, sir. I don't think you realize where you are. Excuse me, sir. I don't think you know where you parked your car. It's on fire hydrant. It's on the water main, sir. You're gonna have to move or I'm gonna give you a parking ticket. Ticket. How did it start? Oh, suddenly I'm yearning for something in this man's eyes. Excuse me, ma'am. Please, I'm in a rush. Please let me explain. I'm going to a meeting for this other parking ticket I've claimed to my name. I'm in a rush because I have to pay this today. So please let me give you my number and my name. Right here written on the back of this one parking ticket. Is that legal, Dan Shaka? Yes. Parking okay. ticket. I'll Your be parking right ticket. Back, You'll right be right back. back. You'll come like right home, back. And I'll be back. Cause just there's a fire. A fire. Fire. A fire in, heart, in my heart. In my heart with this parking eyes, ticket. This parking ticket. The bluest I've ever seen. There's a fire. There's a fire. There's a fire, 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 there's a f
So, uh, Daisy, get well soon. Yes, Daisy. And I'm thrilled I got to play for you tonight. But I think we can do this for Paula. Of I think course. we can do the Not Without My Pasta Not song. Without My Pasta, of course. Can you from count, our... count me off for it? About how fast does it go? One, two, two three, three, four. four. One, okay, two, two, three, four. One, two, one, two three, Okay, I can do that. I can do that. I said one, two, three, four. Yes, thank you. Holy crap. It's a long string made of flour and eggs. It's a long winding spaghetti. It's a long evening. If I can't have it, with the sauce and the cheese and the meatball on top. So I said no, 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 without my pasta. I said no, 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 without my pasta. Yeah. Yes. That was from one of our favorite musicals. Penelope, Penelope remembers. Penelope remembers. What is the favorite musical? What was Nancy. that one? Nancy. Nancy. Nancy in her dreams of going to Italy. And she finally yeah. goes and she becomes a professional opera singer. Oh, That's right. poor Nancy. And Not My Pasta was the aria that got her nominated. Oh, for a famous Italian award. That's right. She was singing famous it in a in a restaurant one evening, right. and a recruiter saw her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. An impresario, yes, who saw her and said, "Ah, you must be in my next opera." Mm -hmm. And said it just like yes. that with the head. And she said, see, I'd be on your opera. So you saw that show. I didn't know you had seen any of our performances. Were you in the dark, giving us energy? No, I can feel <gasps> it here tonight. I, can, I knew it. It's yeah. all this reminiscing is, is bringing it's it all back. I mean, I, out. I so wanted to be in that show, but you know, I she got it, and I mean, I no 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 disrespect. She deserved the part. She's just great, but I would have loved to have been in that show. Well, you can always buy the rights, and you can do a, a rendition here on the Eden Show. I could. I could ass cap that thing, couldn't I? Yes, I could. We'd I be happy to star alongside. Oh, anytime. We I'm could coach you in, in how we performed the parts. That's right. Okay. We're so great teachers. So mm -hmm. if I was doing that song, right, the, mm -hmm. the pasta, I would go a little slower because, you know, that I would like PMJ that and I would just like uh, go slow oh. with it. Oh. But, you know, not without my pasta. Not without my oh. pasta. Really leaning into the accent. I really yes. would lean into the accent okay. a little bit because I watch it on the TikTok and so I see on the TikTok how to do the Italian accent, and I'm sure it's legitimate. Oh, without my pasta. I've never watched TikTok. Tick, 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 tick. <laughs> without my pasta. What, what is it? Tick, ticky talky. Ticky talky. Tick tock. Talky ticky. Yes. Mm. It, it, it's 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 a little Chinese app. It's just a fun thing. And they talk uh, Italian on they, the Chinese app. They do. Although now that I think about it, maybe it is Chinese. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. But anyway, if you want to anyway. give me money, I will give you the rights. Okay, it's a deal. There's my lawyer. We'll uh, sign I'll it. Throw it up. Oh, thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Of course, you're right here. All right, so I'm going to do one more thing. Oh, he said a musical about a pair of workers in a factory that made cooling appliances. They loved the job so much. I think it was called Fan Fans. Very good. Uh, While you think on that for one minute, I am going to do the thing that I do every week on the Eden Show. And I'm going to do some shameless plugs. Yes, Tango. Okay, hold that thought. Here are some shameless plugs for the week. Dan, are you ready for shameless I'm ready. plugs? I'm ready, I'm ready. All right. So he's going to come over and say hi. Shameless plugs, shameless plugs. If I admit it, I want you to see it. Shameless, shameless plugs. plugs. These shameless plugs are brought to you by me. The Eden Castillo. Yeah, right. That's right. So you can kind of see I'm in here somewhere. There I am. Hi, me. All right. Don't Thanks dream it, be it. Exactly. Go so. to EdenCastillo.com and sign up for a get to know me lesson bless you my <laughs> child 
All right, next week on The Eden Show, April 12th, is Sam Valk, isn't he a cutie? Oh, he's adorable. And he's in New York right now writing musicals. Oh, oh, you got to meet him. him. I know, you do. So you have to tune in, and maybe I'll give him your mixtape or something like that. I could do a little work for you. Oh, cool. yes. He's a super nice young man. So and uh, so he's going to be at the studio next week. Then, uh, coming up, West Bay Community Theater is doing Private Lives. That's going to be coming up, I think, yeah, end of this month in April. Yeah, Private Lives. It'll be a really fun show. Awesome. I'm going to be performing a Mother's Day Hangover show in Pawtucket, uh, getting ticket information, but that's Ooh. going to be at a new performance space in Pawtucket, doing Dueling Pianos with Jim Terrell at the venue in New Bedford on May 20th. Tickets awesome. available soon for that. Check out my YouTube, please. I have a lot of clips now from Piano Bar pop-ups I've been doing. There's also a lot of voice lesson stuff up there, a lot of warm-ups if you like those. You know, warming up is so important, ladies. Very important. Very important. And then last but not least, our friend Joe Brisbane, who played oh, Dan's Joe. wife, Joe, right. Fresno Joe. Yes. She is doing a show at Club Cafe in Boston on May 9th called Mod Hollywood Songs from a Town Without Pity. So check all those out. I'll have information available in the chat after the show for connections for all of this stuff. So those are the shameless plugs and shout-outs. Shameless plugs! And there's one more, <laughs> this one right here. So today, I'm so happy, two former Eden Show participants have things coming out today. So right there, Insta, Natalie Blue has a video for her song, Beautiful. She also, the whole album is called Beautiful. So check her out. And then Julia Chisholm, who was my guest seven what? days ago. Last week. Right here, has her single coming out today called Love Is Real. If you watched the Eden Show last week, she performed that song live. And now it is out today on all oh, the streaming channels. awesome. Panels. So congratulations to Natalie and Julia. See, being on the Eden Show leads to good things. Oh, excellent. Right? Good things. So that's thrilled. So now we are done with the shameless plugs and shout out. And here we're back to Ruby and Agnes. And I believe that these viewers had a tango for a pair of workers. Fan fans. Fan, fan fans. And it was should be something of a tango. Fan fans. All right. Can we do that? Of something course. I can tell. I sort of, of remember course. that one. I think I remember that one. Mm -hmm. um, Sorry, what were the the work of the cooling? It was cooling appliances. It was a cooling appliance. That's right. That's right. Oh, you're really getting into it. I love it. I love it. When it's hot and your fans don't work. a call and we'll make quick work we'll fix you up and you'll be cooling down just fine with, with we're the fan fans when you feel the temperature climb and your sweat is running down your back if you need to cool down call us we're the fan fans A good tango. That was a great song. Mm -hmm. I used I to be so able to dance. Oh, uh, what happened? 
I broke. Yeah. You the broke? hips, the oh, knees. Yeah. Did you break or did something in your body break? All, All of, of it. it. All of it. Oh, I'm so sorry. So thankful for this stool this evening. Yes. It is lovely to be seated. Yes. People who went to the show at the Contemporary Theater Company will remember that I tap danced. I and that was a really bad idea. Oh. She's been down ever since. I have cold presses on my whole body. Oh. I am, am a fan fan. Mm -hmm. Even though it's been 40 degrees outside, I've had to sit in a 35 degree room. And just like cool down mm -hmm. the inflammation, right. yeah. the inflammation. Lots right. of turmeric and curries. Mm -hmm. That's right. Good. Yes. Coconut milk. Mm. Mm -hmm. All Coconut reducing the inflammation, yeah. Oh, so sorry. ice cream. Brickley's ice cream is a I mean, known inflammation it, reducer. It cools you down. Quite. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it cools from the inside. Yes, That's they were good. kind enough to let me lie in, in their freezer room where that they keep all the ice cream. That was true. Mm -hmm. Ooh. That but anyway, I'm happy to be here this she's evening. She's really chilled out now. Oh, <laughs> so chill. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so proud. Mm. Uh, so, ladies, yes. uh, what's coming up for you next? I mean, we've heard about you know, these wonderful things, but do we have a sneak preview for the things you're doing up, uh, coming up soon? Are you, are you doing a tour to, like, um, Don't Tell Mama? Are you going to Davenport? Are you going to go to uh, Puerto Vallarta, to Encanto? You know, it's all very up in the air at mm. the moment. But one thing we do know... For almost for sure, certain, yes. is that we will be performing at the Ocean State Improv Festival yes. this June oh, delightful. at the Contemporary Theatre Company, delightful. where there will be some wonderful, wonderful improvisers with us from all over the country and the world. Yes, I believe we're uh, new to this world of improv. That's right. It's but it's, they were so kind to have us do our cabaret there because they said we have a slot to fill. So come sing some, come of, sing your some of your well beloved songs. songs and then everyone else will make things up. That's right. That's right. You're, you're, you'll be the legit people in the middle of all of that illegitimate I making think that's up why the it's, world. They, they wanted, wanted us to, to, to really, really tie, tie in, the, in the, festival. the festival. Yes. Agreed. Agreed. I believe that Ocean State uh, Improv Festival has a theme song. So will you be singing it kind of right after the national anthem? Of you course. Know, so everyone ceremonies. is standing at that time. Right. Yes. With hand over With heart. Hands over heart. Right. But improv does. That's a yes and hand over mm -hmm. heart, mm -hmm. I believe. So. We love the ocean. We love. It's a really beautiful anthem. Play games. Remember that one? Yeah. No. Yeah. No, no. Okay, neither do I. I don't, I don't know what I was doing. I don't know what I was doing. You threw out the first pitch. I threw out the first pitch. <gasps> you oh, did? At what, I did. At what game? Uh, wiffle ball? Pickleball? I don't know. I pickleball you hit. I've never played pickleball. But you did sing the national anthem. I did sing the national anthem. How True. exciting. I did. I did. That was great. <gasps> That's a dream of oh, ours. Oh, it really mm -hmm. is. We practice that all the time. You did? Yes. I think we should probably hear it. The national the anthem? anthem? Mm hmm Well, it could be the now? national. What about the, the national Ruby May Agnes anthem? <gasps> we did also write our own anthem. That's true. It's very similar. That's right. Most of our anthems are. They're smart and beautiful and so lovely. We raise our hats to them. Ruby and Agnes, the stars of the USA.
needs a Play theme ball. song. Play ball! All right. Yeah. We already heard the lawyer theme song earlier tonight. This yeah. is true. Yeah. This is Just, true. What about Penelope? This she needs a theme Penelope song. Penelope needs a theme song. All right, baby. Our last song for the night is going to be the Penelope theme song. Oh, look at that one punch, Sandeep, Comedy King. I don't know. That's very sweet. Thank you so much. All right. Um, I don't know what this person asked for, but thank you so much, person. I don't know. I don't know how to use stream elements yet. Give me one more live stream and I'll figure it out. So, Penelope. Penelope has a theme song as well. What's your, the title your of your theme song? wonderful producer, Penelope, has a theme song. <laughs> Monsters of... <laughs> what what is Penelope? Uh, Penelope. Monsters Remind me. of my mind. Monsters, Monsters of, of my mind. mind. Oh yes, of oh, course. Yes, I that totally is Penelope's theme song. That was from a. Uh, <laughs> that's the titular song from the play Mon the musical Monsters of My Mind. That's right. But when it when it's Penelope's theme song, it's it's about all dealing of, with all us. Of our, oh. All of our songs and and <laughs> musical names floating around in her mind. Yes. sleep they're everywhere around me in my bed they creep I can't close my eyes I can't close my ears these monsters of my mind they're all of my fears everywhere around me they're all Inside my head. All inside my head. And everywhere it's something that I dread. When they ask me for their last musical about a cat, I want to throw it at them and say, that's that. The monsters of my mind. The monsters of my mind. I whisper, someone save me. But no one comes. Does that sound about right? Pretty accurate. Pretty accurate. Yeah. Good. All right. She loves us. She's she joking. Loves She's joking. joking. Oh, oh, we love you. Oh, we love you. Oh, she, you. So oh, she loves us. Thank you, Rody oh. Seth, very much. Glad that you like it. So these are, I'm so sorry, One Punch Man. I'm not going to be able to play anything else tonight because One tonight is man. the music of Ruby and Agnes. So, uh, but I will definitely keep those in mind for the queue for the next time that I do song requests. So thank you so much for that. I appreciate it. Thank you for understanding. Glad you liked it, David. Yeah, isn't that fun? Okay, we have time for one more. Oh, Peter Bucci. What does he say? There's a reason that one wore a fortune. It's so it's true. true. Yes. So true. Yeah. But, you know, it didn't win anything at the Mac Awards. Didn't win anything no. at the Mac Awards. It's very sad. So they're a really tough crowd. Yeah, really well, power. Power. one of these days. Someday, you know, one we, day. we haven't given up hope. No, no we never haven't. give up. That's really the key to being a cabaret artist is to never give up hope. That's right. That's really the key. It's totally As my, the key. my uncle once told me. I think that's me. how we'll go out. This is our final song for the night. So next week is Sam Valk on the Eden Show, April yeah. 12th. And uh, so Sam is actually going to be pre-recorded too, but it'll air on April 12th. Yeah, because he's a busy college student, so this is what I can get him is tomorrow. So this is what I can get him. So we're going to go ahead and pre-record, but I think we're going to take your comments and things live, even though we're going to play Sam's stuff pre-recorded. Oh, cool. Isn't that cool? Yeah. yeah, branching out. So yeah, because us musician type people, we are very busy. We have a lot going on. Oh, we don't have much. No? Oh. We just do this. Oh. All day, every day. Oh. All day. How we lucky. wake up and start singing. And, and just look at each other's eyes and know exactly what song we're going to start singing. That's and you, that's how you practice. It's never stop. I've learned something important here. I didn't know that. That explains a lot, my dears. 
That explains a lot. Okay, so. You'll get there. I'll yes. get there. Thank you for the vote of confidence. I so appreciate it. You could it. go on tour one day around Wakefield. That's a good goal. You could sleep in the Brickleys. Hashtag goals. To, to tour Wakefield as a cabaret singer, maybe get to sleep in the Brickleys. Freezer. Uh, freezer mm -hmm. would be great. Maybe to make bread with Patrick. Oh, not, not with Patrick, but you with could. I, I can make yeah, that with we, you guys. Yes. That sounds fun. Mm. That sounds really fun. So what should I, what, what, what would you like to leave the viewers with to understand as far as cabaret and, and the art and, and the, the, the joy of music? Well, Ruby's uncle always told her, never turn your back to the audience because they want to see your face. And that's rule number one of cabaret. Mm -hmm. Rule number one through 100 of cabaret work. Don't yep. turn your back on the audience, Don't. even if they're virtual. Oh, yeah, right. That's really important. Oh, my. Oh, are we singing one more song? <laughs> it sounds like a Sondheim song. It does. It does. But, but of course, it was from one of our shows. Everyday Love. Everyday, Everyday love. love. The song was Forever in a Day. Forever. Oh, Forever in a Day. But it was very Sondheim inspired. I saw him in the dark many times. Many oh, times. Sondheim is the dark. That's right. What was the song name again? Forever in a day. Forever, Forever in a day. In a day. It yeah. disappears like that. It was a trunk Forever song. It was a trunk song. Sunday in the Park with George. Mm -hmm. Forever, forever and a day. Forever, forever and a day. day. I love you, Cabaret. I Just another day. Forever is just enough for you. Forever is just enough for us. Tomorrow we'll sing again. But until Pleasure, Ruby, Agnes, Agnes, Ruby, they're just like one person at this point. Oh. 
And so it was a very enjoyable hour. Thank you all for watching and for bringing in all of the messages. Yes, all she does is sing, 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 no matter no what. No matter what. Breathtaking as always. I totally agree. Oh. So we will see you next week. I want to find out where you live. <laughs> yeah, She's he's kind of cute. I'm know. coming for She's you, coming sir. For Thank you, Tyler, so much. <laughs> Greatly appreciate it. So uh, you'll catch them at the Ocean State Improv Festival in June. Is yes, it is? yes. In June. And perhaps a show here and there. Yeah. Whenever we swim. can. Yes, Whenever you're we always can. welcome on the Eden Show whenever you want to be here because it means less work for me. Oh. Thank you. Yes, yeah. it's less so work for me. Show right? up. Yeah, yeah. What does that mean? Number well, 80. yeah. A lot Great of work went Number 80. So we'll see you for I paid a lot of money for this face. It's true. It's a, it's a very nice face you got there. It's nice and tight. It all works. Oh, I love being tight.